just need 15 more minutes. 346 minutes later. That took more than 15 minutes and I'm late. I just took a cab and right now we're here. Ta -da! So the cats are most adorable when they first enter because they're hungry. I'm gonna show you. Mama Poco. <laughs> this is Shani. Shani. <laughs> Monty. Hi, Monty. Hi, Dopey. Hi, Dopey. This is Happy. So, before you touch the cat, sanitize your hands and we're gonna go and prepare food for them. So as a volunteer, the first thing that you do when you enter is to feed them. It's not as easy as like giving them food, then pa, I'm done. It's like making sure they finish their food, being super sensitive about who doesn't like the food, who is eating lesser than usual, and make sure they don't steal each other food because it happens way too often. Hold on. Yes, Monty. Monty, you cannot beat people's head off. Okay, so sometimes you need to like do this, yeah? Like you are a teacher, you know, like he's a team master like that. Monty, wait, you eat a lot already, okay? You wait first. Can we share? Ah, you never eat, Dopey. <laughs> okay. I do We're gonna feed the kittens milk. <laughs> we rescued them from a school. <laughs> I think a primary school. Mm -hmm. Oh, good job. Good job. Wait, Mr. Mister, wait. Okay, come, we hurry finish, okay? So that your siblings can drink also. Come. See? Okay, how about you rest first? Your sibling like very hungry. In case you're saliva conscious, yeah? Just very painful. Ooh! Okay. Ah. Ah. Oh, yay! More? A bit more? A bit more? Good job, good job, a bit more. Okay, then you all rest first, okay? Take the your drink a bit, a bit. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Secondly, it will be cleaning. There are a lot of cleaning to do because uh, Guinness Sanctuary is quite big. Okay! <laughs> There's a lot of cleaning to do because... <laughs> Megan, please, just one minute. There's a lot of cleaning to do because kitten sanctuary is quite big. So this is called the kindergarten. We have the attic where we have more mamas and their babies. And we have the quarantine zone in the back. Cleaning includes picking up cat shit and pee in the morning. And because it has been there overnight, when you enter, it's gonna like... It's potent, man. <laughs> it's almost rude. <laughs> that is so smelly. Sweeping the floor and mopping the floor and sanitize the wall. Because now, the situation, we are, we, are, we are just doing the best that we can to make sure everything is safe for them. We're gonna mop the attic. So we're gonna prepare the mop first. This is Chenny. Hi! Oh wow, <laughs> this is our Queen Elizabeth. She's named that way because she's supposed to be really poised. <laughs> Not today, it's her off day. <laughs> when I sweep right, you see, they'll get very excited. <laughs> <laughs>
morning. <laughs> we have one challenge. Is it a leader? Boys happy! Sometimes it's like pills. We put in a pill popper, something like a syringe, and then somebody has to hold the cat, and you got to open the mouth and put it in, and then like make sure it's down the throat, and then they will hate you afterwards for the rest of your life. <laughs> it's not an everyday thing, but sometimes cats do shit on themselves, and that means you have to shower them. There is a huge dramatic shift in emotion and energy during and after a shower. They are usually more calm and they even cooperate with you lifting their arms up for you to dry for them and some might even lick you back. And that means they love you or they're just telling you, you gotta groom yourself girl. So I've been volunteering for 2 months plus now and it's... Wow, the experience is so special that I don't even know how to like put it in a sentence. It's a very interesting journey to be able to understand them and for them to like love you back. I think that's the reason why I want to do all the saikang. <laughs> it's like if you ask me do I even mop my own floor at home, I don't. <laughs> I think for the part that I like so much, I'm willing to do all the rest. I think the hardest part of volunteering, it is really falling in love with one and one thing to bring it home but you can't or it has already been adopted. I feel like I like many cats but there are only a few that I love. This one, <laughs> her name is Dopey. She's really ugly last time. Look at the picture here. She has like bald spots, saggy skin. But whenever she's out, she would just like sit on your lap and look at you. No, I sound like a crazy cat lady but there's a connection, okay? <laughs> I was trying my best to find out how to adopt her and hoping that my mom don't kill me. When I finally had the courage to want to bring her home and she's adopted. So today is my last day with her. She's leaving tomorrow with Happy um, to a happy home hopefully. And I'm, I'm very sad lah. I, I wish I have such a big heart to tell you that oh, I'm so happy they got a doctor. I'm like bitter man. <laughs> Cause this is just how much I love her. That like, I want to see her grow up one day and see like, Ooh, what kind of cat would you be? In many videos I've said I never liked kids. I feel I don't have that motherly instinct as compared to my friends who like really like kids. But she helped me discover that motherly instinct for the first time in my life. And she's sleeping on my lap. We are meant to be. <laughs> I feel like I want to cry already. <laughs> Non-profit organization and we rescue cats and we bring them here and we take care of them and they are open for adoption most of them if you want to volunteer you have to commit to at least three months or 12 times so each shift I work morning shift is 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. four hours if after watching this whole vlog you still want to volunteer then hit us up on the website I'll put it in the video description below if you can't commit to being a volunteer because you're working it's fine because we open to public every Saturday and Sunday you just make a small donation and you get to play with the cats and we use that money to buy them food and sustain this place 
And if you don't have time to play with them, it's fine. You can just make donation to the bank account below. So that's the end of my vlog. And this is how it looks like volunteering at a cat shelter. For those of you who are interested, remember to go down to... You know, go down. <laughs> <laughs> remember to check out the video description box for more details. If you ever volunteer, I'll see you here. And that's all lah. Bye bye lah. <laughs> Y'all just go home with me lah. We just like leave like that. I feel like going down to Pihau. Okay, how would cats react if you cry? Oh my god, I want to go to cry. Oh my god! He's <laughs> really gonna make me cry. Say bye bye, that's the end of my shift, and we are gonna put Happy and Dopey back. And today is the last day that I'll see her for the rest of my life. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>